Hello people, I'm Nikhil. I've decided to teach myself uh, Ruby on Rails by coding 15 Rails apps in 15 weeks and I'm hoping to learn as much as possible and in the process share my learnings with you if that might help you. Well this is my first week of the 15 apps challenge where I build 15 Rails apps in 15 weeks. This week we will build a link aggregator web app similar to Reddit or Hacker News. Using this application, users will be able to upload links and submit them for the users, for other users. Other users who upload the links can edit, only users who upload the links can edit and delete them. Other users can leave comments and either upvote or downvote a link. Let's quickly look at what the finished application uh, will look like. Great. So I'm just going to open up this. So here you go. This is how the finished application will look like. It's called Hack News. And uh, as I said, uh, users using this application will be able to upload links using a, a form and submit them uh, for other users. And we, we will see that only users who upload who upload the links can edit or delete them. Another user cannot do the same. Um, we'll also have a, a sign sign in and sign up functionality uh, where users new users can sign up and existing users can log in. And we'll also create a a, a, a beautiful um, a beautiful banner for people who have not yet signed up. Uh, so yeah, this is how the the final application will look like. Great. Um, I'm also going to be learning CSS um, with this application. I will cover some of it while uh, building this application so that you can see how I um, go through the styling. You can always access my GitHub page um, to look at uh, the app. Cool. So let's start off. Let's start off by creating a new app, a uh, new Rails app. For this, I'm just going to um, go out of this, this existing application. I'm in my terminal. Okay, great. Everything is out. Great. So let's create a new Rails app in the command line. And the way you open the command line is uh, you either look for terminal or or you I use a software called iterm that you can use there you go so I'm just gonna um, maximize it and I'm gonna op bump the size up a bit for you there you go and I'm gonna open the folder uh, so uh, the folder in which I'm gonna create my Rails apps uh, is the 15 uh, challenge folder there you go so and here I'm going to open up check what's in my folder itself by typing the command ls and I see that I have two folders apps and demos so I'm just going to cd into my demos folder which is change directory so it lets me go into the demos folder and I'm going to check what is in the demos folder so there's nothing so now I'm going to create my rails app in my demos folder so the way I do it is rails new and the name of the app. Let's call it hacker. Sorry, if I can type hacker news. Okay, so what happened, what this command does, this command rails new and the file name, the, the name of the app, followed by the name of the app, is that it creates a structure for your Rails application with a major chunk of the files that your Rails, new Rails application will require. You can think of this as a foundation for building before uh, being built before any further work 
goes into the building if you can, if you want to think of it that way um, next we cd change directory into the app folder so again let's just check what's what what is there in this uh, folder demos we see that we have the app here created for us so we're going to cd into hacker news okay so we, we see that we are we are in the hacker news file here um, a few commands uh, that might help you uh, do some basic things in the command line are cd which we just we just checked here um, ls which gives you the list of all the files that are located in the folder itself so you can see inside hacker news just this one command that we wrote down created all these files for us and we'll see them in a bit uh, and we'll cover them as they uh, they occur cool uh, let's quickly open up our text editor uh, i use atom and the way to open up atom from um, the command line is using the command atom space dot um, you can you'll need to create a sim link between your um, between your um, text editor between your I'm sorry between your um, um, terminal tool and your text editor so um, just just Google sim link um, item uh, atom or sublime text or whichever text editor you're using so when I do this <coughs> it opens up atom for me directly from the from the tool great so as you can see this this command just created all these files for us and um, um, we're going to be mostly hanging out in this the, this app part of it uh, where we're going to see focus more mainly on models views controllers um, I'd say around around 75% of the time will be in in app a bit more time in um, this config roots file um, a bit of time in the in the gem file itself uh, I'm going to explain what all these are to you um, great so let's let's continue so reels uses a an architecture for um, a kind of architecture called the MVC framework the MVC stands for model which is here view and controller all right and it is a pattern for the architecture of any software application that you develop in Rails. Um, it separates an application into the following components, right? So you can see the model, which which is used for handling d data and the backend logic. Um, controllers for handling the user interface uh, of the application, and the views for handling the graphical user interface, right? So you can think of it as a model that's behind the scenes. A controller in the middle and the views which which render the views that you can see as a as a user uh, in your browser window great so um, it'll get it'll become much clearer for you once uh, once uh, we start working on it so let's start off so at, at this point uh, we're going to start off um, so I'm going to uh, generate a new um, links so think of, let's think of it uh, once I'm trying to get ahead of myself um, what do we need for this application, right? So we need um, we need links. I'm sorry, we need links. Oh, that was out. Uh, so we need links for this application. Okay. Uh, we want users. We need comments. Um, we need upvotes and downvotes, uh, and we need users. So the, let's start off by uh, by actually um, creating the links. Uh, so before that, uh, I'm just going to, I use a version control system called Git. Um, and think of it as a, uh, as a save as for, save as for uh, Microsoft Word or, or another um, text editor tool like that. So the command that I'm going to use is git status to check what files are untracked. And the command next would be git add dot space dot which adds all these commands, all these uh, files. And I'm gonna commit these changes. I'm gonna call it initial commit. Great. So these changes are committed and th that means these are saved, right? At this point, so it's cool. Um, so I'm gonna generate a links model. 
and we're gonna see, you're gonna understand what it is. Um, so the command is Rails generate model, and the syntax is the name of the model name should be singular and starting with a capital letter. Um, so what does the link have? What should the link have? The link should have a title, which will take the form of a string, and a URL, which will also take take the form of a string. So what does this? What this does? is this command creates a table for the links in the back end of the application so um, the links will have a specific id plus um, a, a a column for the for the um, title a column for the url and uh, a few a few more columns think of it as a table right um, so now i just i just generated a model and every time you generate a model, you need to migrate to your database. So you need to up, uh, uh, update your your database um, with uh, with the information of the table that's added. So I'm just going to enter that. Great. So as you can see, um, it says create links, migrating, create table links. So it created the table links. And where do we find this table? Um, so the to find this table you have to go on a database and we have to see in the folder migrate which has all the existing migrations up to this point uh, so you can see that this command um, created a a uh, a table for us which is called links with the rows um, title url and a few more rows um, magic rows that are like that are called uh, created at and updated at, so two more rows, which are included in this t dot timestamps. So, if you look at this file, schema is an aggregation of all the tables that are created in your in your uh, application. So you can see there's a table created here uh, with with the title of the link and the URL of the link and the two um, the two uh, uh, magical columns that are created at and updated at that Rails automatically uh, creates for you, and you can see the the attributes are are the title is a string, URL is a string, the uh, created at is date time, and updated at is date time. Okay, great. So we know that uh, everything is created at this point uh, with respect to the backend. Great. And the way you can really see the model itself is by going to app. And you have a specific folder called models where you can see the link model that's created a link model is is a um, a a model for a specific link uh, for each link that's um, that's created um, so we'll come back to this later great so you, you see that you we've, we've, we've created the model and now you have to create the controller you go to rails generate or you can just say g instead of generate controller links plural and then enter so it creates a a set of links for you uh, a, a controller for you and a controller is um, you can see it in the controllers folder in the links controller what a controller is, as I as I told you before, is um, it is used for handling the user interface. So it it renders it. A controller is um, has many um, methods or actions, as you can as 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 you will see, and it it um, has actions that in turn render views um, views that are located here. Great. So um, let's think about the application for one second. Um, we see that um, ah, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just going to quickly um, bump the size up on this one, and I'm going to just going to go into 15 CD 15 challenge, and go into demos. Okay, I'm going to do a quick sanity check to check if you're all good to run a Reels application. Here it says, ah, I'm sorry, I just have to cd into the file hacker news, folder hacker news, and rails s.
Great. So you can see the server is running and it says listening on TCP 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 colon 3000. That is basically localhost 3000. And you can see um, that um, it says, yeah, you're on rails. So we're good for right now. And the what do we do next? What do we do next? So let's think about this. So we need to have a a links um, controller and respected routes for it. So the way we check where the routes are, routes are basically uh, anything that's added here. For example, I I can I can type links. If I want to have new links, I will have uh, links dot uh, dash new where I will have a form of links come up here and I will say links uh, dash one dash the first link where you show it um, where you where you show it would be for this one where you where you show a particular link with all the comments and edit where you edit the particular link so these are the routes for the application now the way you look at the the place where you look at the routes for the application is in the config folder you go into routes and you s you add resources this this line resources links okay and what we also going to do is to set the root of the application which is localhost 3000 which is right now on this page to the links controller index action so we want all the links um, that are created on this app to be here on this on this on this root route here um, Great, so I'm just going to refresh. Wow, okay. The action index could not be found for the links controller. Okay, so to explain quickly, um, each of these, right, um, the links controller has actions, and the way you define actions is um, to say define a certain index and the action index, okay. So you define an action, the action index here, right? And what you want to do is to work on, uh, to add new links. So I'm going to define an action called new. And in Rails, um, just remember it this way, every new action comes coupled with a create action, um, where a new is used to render the the new form itself and the create is used to post um, the contents of the new link to the database okay so the index could not be found so i created this so now right now it shouldn't say index could not be found uh, it says the template is missing links controller index is missing a template for this request format and variant so what is it saying so it says template is missing. So template is, is a view, right? So, and so I have to go into the links controller and into the links view, sorry, and create a new file called index.html.erp, which is embedded Ruby. And that's the, that's the file type for all our uh, Ruby files that we're gonna write for this, for this application. So here you have a, a new file which is a view which will basically replace this and will have content here which is at the root because i set the root in the routes folder to links index so let's let's say h1 tag um h1 tag all links refresh there you go so you see that this route of the application has is on the index page um, great. So I'm going to look at a new. How do you create a new, a new, um, a new um, route? So I'm going to go to links new. I like this to be the the new route. So I can see that no route matches links new. This shouldn't be the case. Ah. Right. So every time I, every time you you um, you have to refresh. I'm just going to check. 
if this works every time you migrate a database um, to the database you have to refresh so I'm just going to refresh and check if it works there you go so it says the link the uh, the the new I'm just going to show it here right here you see that so I'm on the new on the new route right I'm going to refresh and it says it will say the new um, action is missing it should say that so let's just wait for that there you go the action could not be found in the new controller so I'm going to add a new action and as I told you sorry uh, it comes coupled with a create action and now if I refresh it will say template is missing right so I I go in here and create a new template which is new.html.erp and I say new link voila so here you see you see um, the new link that that appears on the side which is this right now let's think about this for a bit so we here we'd like to have we'd like to have a form that takes the input uh, of a title and a a link and a button that says submit so for this we're going to use um, a gem what is a gem um, a gem is a library um, that um, that you can use in your application um, to access the gems themselves you have a website called rubygems.org where you can we can find the gems that you want um, um, I'm going to try to explain this while doing it so let's say I'd like uh, to have a form in my application either I can build the form from ground up or I can use a gem which helps creating a form easier for me so this is a gem called simple form here you go you can see that it's, it's been downloaded about 16 million times so that's a lot and I you see this so this is is what you need to copy which is which goes into your gem file so each rails application has a gem file as I told you in the beginning it's located here I'm just going to clean this up quickly so that um, it'd be easy to explain There you go. Okay, last three. So this is your gem file, and it has a list of all the gems that you use in your application. And we want to add simple form to that. So you copy the clipboard, and you just add it here. Okay. Now every time you add a gem, you need to install it. And the way you install it is after this itself, you need to install it in your application at this point. So the way you do this is I'm going to tap Control K to clear, clear my screen. I'm going to say bundle install. So what this does is installs the new gems, right? And if you look at all the all the gems at this point here, you see that you have do we have a new gem here let me just show it for you boop, boop, boop. Boop. simple form there you go you have the simple using simple form okay now every time you use bundle install the command control C to to quit the server and um, the up arrow on your keypad to um, to retrieve the command the previous command rails s so you have to restart your server every time you you use the command bundle install and so at this point it should be installed and we're going to see how to use it and 
to get more instructions you just go to the documentation documentation file and you see the guys from simple form or platform at tech um they've made it easy for you by by um uh adding all the things that you need to use so we'll be using bootstrap for this application bootstrap is a framework um that was created at twitter and that uh, makes life easy for people trying to build applications um in the beginning um so we're just going to use that um so the command that we're going to use is this so rails generate simple form install so we are installing simple form with a flag called bootstrap so let's try to do that clear screen command k rails generate simple underscore form colon install with the flag bootstrap great so you see it it created a bunch of files for you in the config directory mostly um great so what we, what i like also to do is to um install the bootstrap sas gem just like we install the simple form gem we can also we also have a bootstrap sas gem in the ruby gems um website on the ruby gems website so here you go bootstrap sas gem downloaded 25 million times uh, that's a lot um again the same protocol which is copy the gem paste it here and in rails 5 if you using rails 5 um what i do is to add a jquery gem call jquery rails gem call jquery rails um which is which i which is there in rails 5 it's not here um so i add it every time i add bootstrap sas um so let's look at the documentation but first we need to exit and restart our server okay so um it says ruby on rails bootstrap sas okay so we have gem bootstrap sas oops i forgot to bundle install i think i'm sorry it's going to bundle install okay now rails restart server okay so let's look at the gem file we have bootstrap sas we have sas rails both that are asking here we bundle install and it says import bootstrap styles in your app assets style sheets application.scss um so let's go into app assets style sheets we have application.css so what we can do is rename this scss um is called um oh, I'm, I'm, i forgot what it's called it is css uh, rails it's called syntactic css i think uh syntactically no this is not this one scss meaning as you can see i'm still learning so i have no clue i just have to figure this out as it goes what is scss sassy css sassy css it's it's a lot like css except that you can nest <coughs> one element is another which is pretty cool uh, the other things i don't know about css that's the only thing i know so here you can see it says any application or css you can so i'm going to import these i'm going to add these <coughs> great i'm just going to add them here and i'm going to rename this as css dot css okay so this first step is finished now Mm, ta -ta -ta, that's okay. And here it says require bootstrap JavaScripts in your JavaScripts file with the application in the application JSS JS file. So here you have your JavaScripts folder and you have application dot JS. So just add these two lines here, okay? And it, that should do. I think there's. Uh, I think we're done 
uh, for now for for bootstrap and you will see the effects quite immediately in your in the way your fonts are, are there in the way um, I'm just gonna control C restart again just to be sure you know so there you go this is your old link and refresh Mm -mm -mm. Tada! You see this? Um, there you go. I'm gonna show it better to you. So, you see this? Though the font has changed, it's become much more prettier. Great. <clears throat> so we start working on our on our new links. As I told you, we use Simple Form, right? And um, if you look at the documentation for Simple Form, let's just go back. Um, uh, usage to start using simple form you just have to use the helper it provides so this is the format that you use and this is embedded ruby this is ruby code that you use and you can see this is a do block do block so let's start writing some ruby code great so i'm going to say this is ruby code every time you have it inside the greater than and less than signs and the ampersand and the percentage symbol this is ruby code and every time you want the ruby code to be displayed you put an equal to okay for example an if statement inside ruby code will not be displayed but something like a form will be displayed so you say simple form for and it says for user in this case but we we want to use it for links so links singular do f and every time you start it a do block you have to end it like an just like an if block and say f dot input this is the this is not something that i'm creating myself it's your you see i'm just so so used to it that i'm just typing it like this and what did we add for our links we are uh, we added the way you, you look at it is go into your models and slowly see what we added not model sorry you go into your database schema so we added title and url and this was automatically generated for us so we are not going to bother with this um okay f input title f input url so we want the users to input these two and then f button submit and you can give them a class it's a bootstrap class called button button default i'll just show you without this how it looks at this point so right, right now i'm just going to exit from this when you when i when i when i refresh this you will see a form here which looks it's going to look pretty ugly actually oops something is wrong undefined model name hmm ah, but um, I forgot to I forgot to uh, restart my server I guess let me just check this no okay so as you can see you run into quite a few issues like this when you are when you're doing and when you're creating an application and you gotta just solve it on the go undefined model names simple form for link did i do something wrong well okay simple form for link input new link um for nil class um, I'm just going to say control P in Atom to look for the, uh, for the file directly or you can just go to models links hmm but the model is existing um 
what's happening here simple form forwarding to a factor input control button not submit I'm just going to try it again localhost 3000 slash links you know. uh, this is trying to figure this out is what Michael Hartle calls technical sophistication is trying to figure shit out for yourself mm. So basically, I have uh, I'm defining this instance variable called link, and instance variables are, are variables that are available in your views that you need to add to your controller. But I I use this at link here, but I didn't define it anywhere. So I'm gonna do it right now. I have to say in the new in the new action, which is this page. Um, I'm gonna define. Uh, uh, an at link instance a link at link which is an instance variable an instance um i'm going to the way i defined it is to say at link is equal to link which is the model name link dot new so this instance variable is talking to the model and saying i'm going to create a new 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 link and it this is the model itself so this is how you got you have to write it right and now it should work there you go so you see you see how it is you see it's, it's pretty big it's pretty ugly right now and um the i'm just going to show how classes are used by creating a class for you here for this button i'm going to say button submit this is the submit button here i'm going to say class is btn this is all bootstrap classes btn primary which is gives you a sort of a blue button there you go. So you see that here it's done. Great. So we have, uh, we can enter, let's say this is my first link. And let's say, uh, I don't know, twitter.com. Samuel. Let's say create link. Hmm. What's happening? Great. So you see that it's not, it's not being uh, stored in the in the database on the database so remember I told you that you need the create action to store it in the database for you and link just to show it for you this happened because we really didn't uh, fill up the create action and the way the create action works is um, it works like the new action where it, it, you have to give it an instance variable but I have to pass in what are called params. This was a quite a tough uh, idea for me to understand, no, which is a few weeks ago. Um, so link params are whatever is added here, whatever is here, whatever you it's you passing through um, the form is stored in the link params. Okay. Now the way you um, define the link params is you create a method a private method a private method is a method that's used only in this controller and not anywhere else um, so I'm going to define link params okay I'm going to define a, a function called link params which I'm going to use here okay and I have to permit this information um, before entering it into the database which is called strong params which is in rate 5 and the way you do this is say params dot require link which is the which is the table itself and I'm gonna say please permit every time I I, I, I send it in please permit the link and the URL okay so I'm just asking the database okay every time please permit every time I enter permit the the title and the URL okay and it's not yet finished if my link is saved if I click this and it's 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 saved 
then redirect me to the root path which is the index path which is where all the links are stored well if it doesn't get saved render the new form again and now if we refresh this okay let me say first link and let's say uh, create link there you go so it rendered us to the to the root path because it has been saved so but just that it's not rendering it in the index view uh, which is here because because there's nothing here there's no way to render it um, so let's uh, let's um, let's do this so we want let's first add what's in the index controller right we want the index controller to have many links where the way you we create an instance variable called links at links and we're asking the model the link model to give us all the the links that are there in the model okay and as this point we have to write a write in a loop here and we're saying for all the links now this you, as i told you the instance variable is is readily available in the views okay so this is the the view h the index dot html dot yabby for each of these links okay i'm going to do a do loop for each of these links go into each link and give me something from that link okay now for each of these link i'm defining another instance called link which i have to use inside i can't use at link or anything give me the link dot title this is the way i i access the title of the link the way i access the title is the link link dot title and the way i access the url is the link dot url okay and i want to put it in a like a uh, uh, um, beautiful tag which is the h2 and the url i'm going to put in a p tag great do you see that i'm just going to get rid of the url for, for now do you see that so this is the the only link that we have and uh, this is the all links i'm just going to take this out there you go so this is the first link that we have um that's here but it's looping only through one link because only one link is created and the way you really check that out is using um the command rails console or rails c the console is is an environment where uh where you use where you can actually play uh, with the ruby code and see what's happening inside inside your inside your um, database inside your model whatever is happening everywhere so i'm just going to clear this command k again and i'm going to access the link model through what is called link dot connection command k to clear it up and i'm going to say mm, show me all the all the links that are available in the link model oh there you go so it's just showing me one link because this is one that's available now i'm going to define a an instance variable called link which is link dot new i'm just going to create a new inst new new link right now and the way we're doing it is quite similar to to the links controller here you see this command and this command is pretty new except that i'm passing in the title second link okay and i'm passing in the url let's say uh, uh com enter so you can see that the link has been but created but it needs to be saved okay um the link a new link has been created but it has to be saved right here i'm talking about this here so i just say at link dot save so commit transaction now you should have two links in your link dot all now let's define links as link dot all so you can see there's one link and there is two links here great so now it has to be looping through um 
this link index.html has to be looping through two links. There you go. So you have two links on the in the root path. I'm just going to improve this a bit. I'm going to say order it. Put it to me in order by created by the the date and time that has been created at and descending, which means the the link that I create the latest should be on top. There you go. So this is 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 done. Now let's let's work on 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 trying to trying to improve um, uh, the links uh, controller itself. So we want to see what's in the links, right? And uh, to do that, let's just let's just link the text here to the show page of the link, where where you can see more information about the about the the page. So the way you do this is you use a link to tag in, in Ruby on Rails uh, in Rails, and the link to tag acts like an href tag in HTML. Um, so it says, okay, this is my title. Okay, this is the text in the a tag, not the link in the a tag, but the text. Um, and I have to link it to a certain path. Now, how do I find where, where, which path to link it to? Like, where is? How do I note down what path the show page exists on? How is the show page it doesn't exist as as this point? But let's the view doesn't exist, but the path does. So the way you access uh, this is Reels routes. It's a, it's um, 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 it's it'll be something that you use quite a lot in your in your Reels application to figure something out. I'm just gonna reduce the size for you. So Reels routes gives you a list of all the links that are there. So you can see for new link, which which the URL pattern is links dot new. Here you have links controller new action links controller new action corresponds to the page which is links new there you go and the same for edit show update destroy and all that and index you can see the index is at the root route here as we defined it in the routes file here great so now I'd like to sh I'd like to send it every time I, I click on this I'd like it to, it to go to the page where I see what's in the show page right so for that I need a show page itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what the show page is so this has the links controller show action which means I need to define a show action in the links controller which I've not yet done and the path here the prefix is link okay so the way you need to do this is you need to add underscore path after this okay so keep in mind this link okay this link here now here I need to say link underscore path this will take me to the link path but because each has its own ID, right? I can't say, if I say link path, doesn't know where to take me. It has to be specific to that link. So I'm going to say specific to this link, which is the instance of this. So just as we use this without the at, here also we need to do that. So let's refresh, you see? So click. Okay, now the 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 route here is links two, which ID two, and the action show could not be found for the links controller. Okay, so now let's just add the action show. The way you add an action show is define show end. Now refresh. It'll say template is missing. Okay. Now it's gonna close this. So that becomes easier for you. Links controller new file show dot html dot erb. Now this is the show file, okay. And 
what do I want to do here? I want the the link to be I'm going to define instance variable here where it finds the link for me the link that's already been created so I'm going to say find with params ID which is basically this so it tells me find me the link with this ID Perhaps is a bit confusing to understand, but just think of it as whatever is being passed in the top here. So, okay, find me the link with this ID here. I'm going to refresh it. It's actually showing the page itself. It's not. It's not coming back with an error, but I need to fill up this. So you see that there's. I've already defined an instance variable here, so I can use this in my views. So I'm just going to say at link dot title. Yeah, I'm just going to say p at link dot URL. Great. Control Command R refresh. Wow. So here you can see. Um, what's happening you have the link and the and the url in the show page let's just go back this is the index page first link also the same so this is good news so let's just continue and 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 create a let's say i want to edit okay let's say i want to edit this page how do i do it there's ideally i would like to have a path like edit here like so but it says edit action cannot be found so I'm just gonna create an edit action and just like with new there's a create with edit there is an update okay and for edit action I need I also I need to find the uh, the the uh, the link itself now I, I need to use the same instance variable that lets me find the link so whenever I say I want to edit a certain link I need to first find the link so I'm using it for this okay just like create look at that let's just like new sorry now edit mirrors new update mirrors create now I'm I'm saying for update also I need to add this okay and I'm saying if link dot if the link gets updated but I need to pass in the link params why because if I update uh, a text a different if I, if I say first link as first link edited then I need these link params to be um, validated okay the new link params that I'm entering to be to be validated so if the link is updated with the new link params whatever is being entered then redirect me to the link path that is like that is the that redirect me to the to the to the show page okay the way I, I access show page is in here I have the instance variable at link okay so I'm gonna say link path as we saw here link path link underscore path with respect to the link that is defined here okay else render the edit form which we will define later hmm great so edit let's just check this so it's saying edit template is missing I'm going to create a new template edit.html.erb I'm going to say see the edit is very similar to the new page is in is very similar to the new create new link so link links new it is going to be very similar to this except that the title will, will have already been here and the URL will, will have already been here okay and you're, you're going to have an update link instead of a create link here so what we're going to do is use the same thing and instead of new link 
the only thing we're going to change is edit and the, the rails is smart enough to see that this is an edit link okay and let's i'll show you what that means so you have links edit do you see that it just auto fill everything and updated it so rails is pretty smart and i'm going to say let's say edited update you see that so your your link is now updated it's becoming hard for me to go uh, to and from the the show page to the to the index page so i'm just going to create a a a link so the way i do this is i want the link to say back which is the link to tag here i'm using the link to tag here which is like an ahref tag for html and i want it to take me to the index page which in this case corresponds to the links controller index action and it takes me to the root path so i'm going to say root path okay so i'm going to give it a class of btn btn default when i say refresh see that's a pretty good looking button here say go back it takes me back to the root path and i don't want to enter every time links uh, new you know so i'm just going to create a link to take me to the new um, new path um so i have to do that in the index.html link to which is similar to the ahref i wanted to say new link and get the spelling right and where does this take me again our answer is in rails routes rails routes command that we can enter in the terminal hmm what takes me to the links controller new action which is the links new path which is that that huh so hmm it is new link is the prefix but i know that i need to add underscore path after it so i say new link path there you go so you have if i refresh do you see that there's a new link here and every time i click it i go here and i'd like to add a back button here also um i'm just going to go to the show page and copy it and go to the new okay and enter it here so that i have a back button here it takes me back <coughs> to the index page so we're looking pretty good um so you have you have the now we can we can update we can edit we can create a new link we can show all the links uh, in one in one page we can look at the link itself uh we need to add one more action which is to delete the link right so i'm going to get, get back onto my um show page i'm going to add a few more links here i'm going to say i want what if i want to edit a link once i see it on the page but i think there's something wrong let me just take out this editor okay it looks bad um the way i do this is i go i want the link to which is ahref in html i want to say edit i want it to take me to to the edit path of this link which is which is two okay so i know here that the the link that corresponds to this is edit link which corresponds to the links controller edit action so edit link edit link path but every link has a unique id so if i need to edit this link i need to have an id of that link with respect to a certain link so i'm just going to say at link which is already defined here okay so this is the edit path you see this edit path i'm just going to remove this so that it's uniform there you go so we're back in edit link so if i click on edited edit I'm going to edit this. I'm sorry. Update. 
there you go so it's, it's been edited now I like to let's say I want to destroy the link I want to delete the link I need to define an action called destroy where I I need to first find the link I want to destroy just like here and I need destroy it once I destroy it this show page will not exist so there's no where do I redirect it to I redirect it to mm, the root path let's say in this case okay and I'm just going to add a few uh, notices that where every time every time something a, a link is created I say mm, hi uh, successfully created link or something like that successfully created link I'm going to just take this I'm going to say notice successfully updated link notice again successfully deleted so here we have all the actions that are defined and I'd like to also look at this so pay attention to the delete action here which is destroy action I'm sorry which is the links controller destroy action which is links controller destroy action you see that the verb is delete and uh, the verbs are um, um, a bit more understanding that's required but if you think of it the new the edit the show all the verbs and the index all the verbs which have a show uh, page here a page where you where view that displays can be um, seen as get verb requests a post verb request is a create action a post lets you post a form lets you post a form to the database um, update you can see is patch and delete is a different verb so the way you let's say I don't like this article okay I want to delete it how do you define it how do you define the delete button like we define edit and um, and the back buttons so I have I still have to have an href type tag in in Ruby I said delete I want the button to say delete but for delete the way it works is it needs to this is something that you just need to remember I really don't know um, you just need to do it often enough that you can remember how to use the delete function write the delete path I need I need it to link me to the to the path itself um, to the to the show page but I want to the method which is which is the verb to say delete it's always the case when you have when you, whenever you add something that destroys the delete the method method needs to be delete and I look I also like to have a, an annoying pop-up just come up and say hey are you sure so the way I do that is data I wanted to ask me are you sure confirm are you sure okay there you go. Let me let, let's say I want to delete the second link. Okay, I said delete. See this? This here is this due to this this part of it. Are you sure? I know Nikhil. See there you go. Now it asked me, are you sure, Nikhil? You see that? So I'm just going to change it to are you sure again I'm going to delete this so it has to go back to the root path once it's deleted okay 
it's not seeing it's not saying successfully deleted link okay I'm just gonna come back to this later so we just have one we just have one link let's say uh, second link again uh, I don't know uh, wikipedia.com is it .com or .org um, let's just say uh, news dot y combinator dot com no I'm just gonna say uh, google dot com okay second link again hmm cool so everything's working as we wanted to um, all the functions here are working I just like to optimize the way the code looks um, obviously it doesn't make any difference for the code itself but for uh, for people seeing it as a best practice you need to optimize what's happening the code here um, now with rails you have something called the dry principle which is do not repeat yourself so you sh you need to remove all the redundancies and repetitions and the way I'm going to do that here hmm, I'm going to see that I have I've written this these these are the same things pretty much all of these and they are defined multiple times so I'm just going to define a private method which is called find link which finds the link and and I'm going to say I'm just going to put this in here copy paste okay I'm, I'm going to remove all of these destroy update edit show and I'm going to have a before action before action is basically um, you can think of it as as an action that you can define your your private method up top here before all of this code is is really is really um, seen itself so you say before any of this code is seen I want you to define this this uh, this uh, fine link up top so that it can be used in show edit update and destroy and the way you do that is say I want the find link only to be used for show edit update and destroy okay so this is equivalent to adding this 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 statement in each of these because I'm already defining this this find link for all these four okay so this is one of the ways you can you can refactor I think that's what it's called refactor your code change the function no change the form without changing the function itself okay so if you've refactored a code everything looks pretty good um, I'm just gonna link these up later you have to go to this to the specific um, um, link hmm. it's looking pretty good here we've covered a lot um, right now so I'm just gonna go git status it checks all the things that I've done you see um, git add I'm gonna save this basically I'm saving it git commit m dash m mm, add links controller model and crud create read update and destroy which is equivalent to create read update and destroy crud views 